open government, e-governance, open data. Um, so what we're trying is building on this trend to actually look into anti-corruption, good practices, transparency, integrity, accountability. This workshop here today um, gathers more than 30 practitioners of open data, both journalists and activists um, in their local context. We've got people coming from more than 15 countries, um, so we're pretty much covering the entire region. The whole case of open data is interesting for me since uh, that's transparency. That's basically transparency. It's very important to have all data in one place because then you can uh, bring all the different tables, I mean the tables from different sources all together and start building correlations. That's what closed governments really want to do. More open data creates more transparent governments and better public services, hopefully. But for that to happen, the data has to be written about and stories need to be created from the data that's going to generate some kind of public attention um, and then movement from the public to pressure the governments. The open data movement is happening in the region. Uh, we have a lot of projects, a lot of actors involved, the civil society, uh, governments. Uh, but what we need is to fuel this movement and support it. We need to work on freedom of information, we need to work on disclosure of data, and uh, we need to work uh, on capacity. There is at the moment lots of data, especially open data in my country, but, uh, and there are some organizations that can use this data, you know, just to analyze it and to present it. But the most important thing from my, from my point of view how the open data and the analysis provided by the investigative journalists and civil society organizations can change the situation. The journalists don't really understand the concept of data or, or big data. They've heard a little bit about it, maybe they've struggled to get data from the government, they've submitted freedom of information requests if such laws exist, but the whole idea of getting data, working with data, visualizing data, telling stories around the data is very new for some people. Starting with 2015, we're going to build up um, and step up our activities in open data through a regional platform. Uh, we've partnered with the Global Initiative Open Data for Development um, and we'll be coordinating activities focusing on open data from Istanbul Regional Hub. Um, this will be called ODECA and we're very much looking forward to um, building up our activities. The regional office of the UNDP is actually very well placed to facilitate exchange of knowledge and information among the various actors and provide the support that is needed to make open data a reality. And this is exactly what we're doing with this type of workshops.